Okay, so my mom and I have been working on um, some samples, or my mom has, and then now I'm about to dive in. Um, yeah, we will see that. So my mom and I have a few tutus that I'm gonna make shirts for. Um, for this one, I'm gonna do like a like a little rainbow boho rainbow one for. Um, similar to the boho rainbow one that you guys saw, but I kind of want to change it. It's the prettiest color. It's like a pink and beige. Um, so I kind of want this to be a little bit more like modern. And then we have this one, which we've had forever. Um, you guys can tell that it was packed away because um, it was kind of like folded a little from it being closed for so long. Um, and I never posted it, so I kind of want to figure out a shirt um, to make for it. Um, next is this one. My mom, mom, my mom is not done with it yet, um, but it's this tutu right here. She's in the middle of doing it. Um, this tutu I'm really excited about because I bought this. Um, I bought this fabric like. I want to say almost a year ago, like eight months ago, um, with the hopes of doing like a painting shirt, like, you know, with like paint brushes and paint splatter. Um, and I think that shirt with like the paint brushes or like the name and stuff um, written in black would look really cute with this um, skirt. And then she's working on, you can see it here, this big fluff. Um, she's working on a tutu right now to do um, this color with, I think, I think with purp, with, I think with green. So it's going to have a two layer with pink and green, um, just so that we can have an option for the other unicorn shirt that we have. Um, and then she's going to do this green one with, um, these two and it's gonna be for this shirt right here it's for this one and I'm gonna redo this shirt and I'm gonna change that middle part to be like either pink or that um, beige color and then I want to do I have a bunch of fabric that I've been buying she also has um, tool there that she's gonna do a uh, Ah, another tutu for um, so I did this tutu and out tutu outfit for my friend's daughter the other day and I loved the tutu it kind of gave it this like um old school was it 80s vibe like it was here I'll show you guys so she did a pink tutu with thin black trim and it just it gave it this like dainty look the fact that it was like a thin ribbon on the tip um, and then with like the Barbie um, silhouette on the shirt I just thought it was beautiful so she's making me another one for a sample so I have to do a sample for that speaking of let me just write this down and let me show you guys a cool hack for tutus so one thing that my mom and I usually do is we put them in in the bins that you guys see in all of our videos but lately She's just been hanging them like this, which is perfect. It actually works out perfect because they don't get, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you guys keep like a, if you guys keep like a ribbon folded for too long, it, you know, it kind of dents. So because it's like, you know, condensed in a bin or something for so long, um, it gets that dent. I mean, you can always fluff it and it'll go back to normal, but I mean, that's just very convenient. Um, I think I'm gonna tell my dad to add more of them because then we could just always keep the um, either the tutus that we make there. Um, like as my mom's making them, she can put them there or we can just put our samples there and then that way they'll never go bad in case we wanna do more shirts or something. So, so the room is a mess right now. Just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. And guys, I haven't forgotten about that video of the Etsy shop reviews. Um, I already chose the Etsy shops. 
Um, I just have not bought from them yet because I'm just waiting on some funds. I wanted to, I wanted to separate at least $200 um, for that video to be able to buy from like at least five or six shops. So I haven't forgotten about that video. I'm just waiting for the right moment, um, but it's coming. I promise, I promise, I promise it's coming. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the samples right now. I'm gonna work on them and then I will um, film myself a little bit, but I'll come back and show you guys all of them complete because um, it's, it's probably gonna take me at least like two hours and it is 6.57 right now. Oh my God, it's a mess in here. Okay, so I just finished my first design and I wanna show it to you guys. So I already had the number. I have the um, like a set of numbers that I bought that are just like rounded numbers. Um, and then I bought the paint palette off of Etsy. And then separately, I actually have to see. Um, so I bought the paint splatter separately also. And um, the fun thing that I did was I put a paint splatter under the actual brush tip. And then I put a paint splatter right here so that it kind of looks like it's the number um, dripping down. Um, and then I put the name here. Um, of course, if somebody wants it like at the bottom, they can do that. But I thought that the name went cute here since it's going to be with a tutu. Um, the name up towards the top of the design looked better. And then I put a paint splatter there. And yeah. I think I'm going to do the palette in like a gold color um, and then the brush I think I'm going to make it like a, a glittery black as well. Um, I just kind of want it to be more on like the more glamorous side of a design so yeah I think that's what I'm going to do. So um, I think I'm going to put this one on the machine now and then while the machine's going I'm going to um, work on the other designs. Mommy, 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 mommy. Mommy, 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 What are you doing? <laughs> Alessia? What? what are you doing, baby? Huh? <laughs> Can you count? Cuenta. <laughs> Can you count? One. Hi, my name is Yes, No, don't throw it there. Okay. So, this particular design takes a lot of fabrics. Not a lot, but like little parts. So right now, what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna put heat and bond on these. Um, guys, remember, um, I buy my heat and bond um, on Amazon, I buy a bolt of it like this uh, for about 50, 60 bu 50 bucks. Um, keep an eye out on it because um, someone commented on my video the other day saying they found it for 30 bucks. It was on sale that day and they got two of them. So um, I have the link in my description box below if you guys are interested on the heat and bomb that I buy. Bunch of 
scrap bond here I'm gonna use for this. Let me know if any of you guys keep your scraps. My mom and I keep our scraps for everything. You never know. And I can feel the on my skin. And I have all of them. Hey, I just have to um, iron it. Super cute, I love it so much. And then right now I'm doing a shirt of a skid steer design over there. What I'm thinking of doing uh, is maybe a, there's somebody that I've been watching for a very long time. Her name is Colleen. Um, I'm not sure if you guys may know her. She's Miranda Sings on YouTube, but she has a vlog channel and um, she has a P.O. box and I've been watching her for so many years and um, Flynn, she's a little boy named Flynn and he's the cutest little boy. He's two years old and that's what I'm making the shirt for. So I'm hoping um, that if I send her the shirt uh, to her P.O. box, she'll um, showcase it in her video, um, which will in turn bring people and bring more traffic to my, not only my Etsy shop, but also my YouTube channel. So, um, yeah. And he's just the cutest little boy. I've been wanting to send him a, 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 a shirt for like so long. And there's a couple more people that I watch um, who have kids that I'm also interested in. And I think I'm going to send them a shirt also. Hey guys, so um, yesterday, today is the next day after I did my live. Um, I did a, a few samples you guys saw me make um, and today is just a continuation of that. Um, this vlog is going to be a little bit all over the place. <laughs> um, but now today I'm going to uh, work on a few more samples and take some pictures. I have to take some pictures of a few tutus. I think my mom's. You can see them back there. There's like five tutus that my mom did um, and I just have to finish um, making the samples. But, um, but yeah, so I'll bring you guys along with me. <laughs> So I'm going to do um, this llama design that you guys see here on this pink onesie. It's going to look so cute. I just had to take a little break to cut some um, stabilizer. Um, my mom and I like to have stabilizer pre-cut in these bins um, so that it's easy when we get the orders. We just grab it and throw it on. Um, we have the stabilizer cut per which machine and hoop it is so that we save as much stabilizer as possible. If you guys are wondering what bins these are and what stabilizer it is that I use, I have it linked down below. Good 
I am just putting two pieces that have heat and bond at the bottom on top of each other because this fabric is a little sheer so I'm gonna layer them so that it looks more opaque on the shirt. that is going in the background, I am going to make this design on my silver needle. Guys, if you guys have issues with the getting, if you guys have a single needle machine and you guys have issues with your thread getting um, like this little thing that's up here, if you guys have issues with the thread always like looping bad or like getting stuck on the plastic because you have a bump on it, um, or just issues in general because the thing that you put up here is too small and the thing is too full. Cool. Honestly, my mom and I used to have so many issues with putting the thread up here that ever since we got this um, thread stand, we never get issues with the machines now like it's honestly crazy the difference that it has made um, for my mom and I so we have one of these on both of the single needle machines and it was the best out of everything that we've bought that has made our lives easier this is probably the best one and it's only 15 bucks um, it's linked in my description definitely recommend okay so this is it finished Oh, it's so cute. I love it. A lot of people do this um, llama theme for um, first birthdays. So I really wanted it to be on like a onesie just in case they put like a little tutu. Um, onesies are just more comfortable on one-year-olds. So, oh, so cute. I love it. And then the white is like a glittery white fabric. So it's adorable. Okay, so it's later Okay, so it's later in the day, and I am now making this sample. It's super glittery, as you can see. I'll show you what it looks like on the screen. It's kind of more or less what it's looking like, and that's what I'm gonna, um, that's how it's gonna look like on this onesie that I'm doing. I'm about to end so I'm about to end this video and um, but you guys saw I did a bunch of samples today so right now I'm just going to iron the samples and show you guys all of the samples that we did today um, just let me clean up a little bit because you guys already know I don't like working in a mess so I'm gonna finish showing you um, ironing those shirts and then I'm gonna have some cookies while I edit this video for you guys and get it up tonight. So I'm just gonna iron. As you guys can see, I'm just gonna iron them. Okay, here's the first sample. Tell me this is not the cutest thing ever. Let me adjust the lighting. Okay, much better. 
Tell me that is not the cutest shirt ever. This is the next one. This one's on a onesie. Oh my god, so cute. I accidentally did this top portion of the eye in black, but um, I'm gonna see if I can edit it in um, Photoshop. Uh, and then once I get the orders in for it, I'll make it purple, but so cute. You can't even tell that I made that little mistake. Next one. You guys saw make me this one on my live and actually helped me out in choosing the colors and the color for the clouds and I'm really happy with how it turned out. You guys saw me make this one in the live as well. I love this one. Oh my gosh, I've never been so satisfied with samples before like this. So my camera's overheating. I'm gonna finish heating up these last two and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I laid them all out so you guys can see them. So these two are the ones that are for Flynn, um, Colleen's little boy, which I'm going to ship out um, after I take pictures of them. Um, and then, there we go. There's the paint one. There's the little one you guys helped me do. Oh my god, this one's my favorite one, I think. Yeah, there you have it. All right, guys, so that's the end of this vlog. Um, thank you guys so, so, so much for joining me today. Please remember to make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And um, if you can and you really enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up down below. And um, also remember that when we reach 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a heat press and a cricket so make sure that you're subscribed i know that a lot of you guys watch me because i come out on your recommended um but just make sure that you scroll there and just make sure that you're subscribed that way we can reach that way we can reach that number quicker um and i can do the, the giveaway faster also please remember if you guys are interested in blanks embroidery blanks have a link with angela down below for her blanks she has great quality blanks for embroidery especially if you guys want to start out um, if you guys are interested in embroidery blanks um, and also if you guys have any questions about my Recoma 15 needle machine um, you can contact Recoma with any question um, even if you just want to find out just the specs of the machine or um, how the machine is it doesn't have to be this machine it could also be the 10 needle machine um, but yeah so any questions that you guys may have I have a link down below that gives you a few hundred dollars off as well if you're um, if you decide to get the machine so um, but thank you guys so much always for your constant love and support. I love you guys so much. Honestly, I have built a family with all of you and I just want all of you guys to know that I really appreciate you all and I appreciate every every comment and every nice thing that you guys always say to me. I just want you guys to know that it doesn't go unnoticed. Me, my mom reads them, everybody reads them um, and it makes us really happy. You guys are just the most amazing amazing people and i just wanted you guys to know that um and yeah so again thank you guys so 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 much and i will see you guys later bye okay so i just wanted to show you guys her packaging and the packaging so she had has this like really cute tape that she puts so that you know that the package is from her um, and then she uses this like really cool tape which you can tell is like uber strong this is like the tape that you use for like electronics like so that you know that it's not gonna open um, so I don't have a scissor near me I'm gonna use 
a key I found. Hopefully this works. As you can see when you open it, um, she puts crinkle paper, um, she has like a cute little sticker here and then like isn't her packaging just like the cutest, the cutest, cutest thing. Um, she wrote me a little cute note, I'm going to read it right now and then she included her um, business card and then a packing slip. I just, looking at this, doesn't it feel like it was packed with like love? Doesn't it feel like it was packed with like like just such gentle hands like I don't know I'm being weird sorry y'all I love that you wrote a little um, card and I think that she does this with everyone um, she writes like their name and stuff like thank you and then whosoever name it is um, on all of her orders which is honestly a really really nice touch I I don't do that I find that I never have time but honestly I kind of I kind of want to start this is her business card um you this is how you spell this is how you spell bingham bliss and then you have her website and her um etsy at the bottom so totally recommend if you guys have kids um to check out her shop it's bingham bliss and then also for sure check out her youtube channel so she, I just can't wait to touch this fabric. So this is the bow that she included because she's like an amazing human. Thank you, Amber. Um, you're so sweet. You didn't have to do that. You didn't have to include this. So sweet. Oh my God, adorable. It's funny because she actually just did a live um, the other day and she showed how to make these. So if you guys are interested um, and you guys are interested in making something like this, um, you guys can definitely check out her YouTube channel as well. Um, she shows how she makes all of her products. Oh my God, this is adorable. And then here are the pants. Oh my goodness, look at how cute. So inside of the packaging of the pants, you have a little tag right here that says Please take good care of me. I am handmade in the USA for your trendy little one. Please wash on a gentle cycle and dry me naturally. Like just care instructions, of course. And like her branding is everywhere. Like she really brands herself really well. Like all of her stuff has her brands on it. It's like a cute little tip. Thank you sticker here. Oh my goodness. Guys, aren't these, isn't this the cutest? print you've ever seen these pants are gonna look so cute let me just bring up the camera really quick so they're just cute little leggings my daughter wears these all day every day like she doesn't i dress her nice sometimes just for the sake of using her clothes but with covid and stuff we don't take her out anywhere so she wears stuff like this and little long sleeves every day so i'm really excited to put her in these oh my god i love her guys it has tags look at this she even puts a tag of her brand and the size that is amazing that she does that because I don't know if you guys have ever bought from um, like from China not from China but like from Amazon like stuff like this it's a like cute um, and then you'll get it and it doesn't have a size Does that happen to anybody and then I'm stuck because when I grab her stuff, I always look at the size because, you know, she goes through things and things don't fit her anymore. Um, and I can't believe that she included um, that she included little tags. Oh, my God. Like, she even has tags. I'm, I'm, I'm beyond. I can't. Oh, and then she also put this and then this love this I love this so cute 
I, I'm, I'm so excited to put her in this. So I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys that because I've been waiting for it for days. As soon as I placed the order, I was like, oh my God, I can't wait for it to get here. I'm just gonna put all of this back and then I'm gonna throw that stuff in the wash. And uh, try it on her. I also wanted to say, Amber, thank you. I am sure I'm gonna text you right now praising you and loving you because I love it so much. Um, but thank you so much. You are amazing. You are an amazing human and an amazing friend. And I cannot wait to see you grow.